Amen. Praise God. Thank you so very much, Mother Mary, for leading us in that beautiful prayer to begin our time in our wonderful series, The Month of Miracles. God bless you, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, where we are revolutionizing the world through the power of prayer and the spoken word. This is Pastor Arlene, the visionary of this wonderful global ministry. And we're so very glad to have every one of you tonight. Shout out to you, Kelly. Thank you for being with us tonight. Mother Mary, Evelyn, Chantel, Mom Bell, Miss Gantz, uh, Gloria, Tisa, Lynzette, Tanisha, Petra, Guzman is in the house. Latanya, Flo Flo, and Takia. Thank you so much for being here tonight. If you have not taken the opportunity to invite somebody, will you do that right now for me? Will you text somebody, invite them in to this time of prayer, to this time of sharing? I believe that God has something for every one of you tonight. I believe that God is going to open up the windows of heaven and pour us out blessings that we don't have room enough to receive. I don't know about you, but it is the month of October and I'm already speaking into my future because I know that every time I speak, creation occurs. So I'm already speaking to my October and my October is already blessed. My October October is already filled with favor. Is anybody with me already? My October is filled with miracle signs and wonders. I believe God, Kelly. I don't know about you, but I believe God to perform miracles in my life. I am a miracle in motion, but I know I'm not the only one. I know that God has some miracles to store in your life, to manifest in your life. And I believe God. I believe God. Somebody open up your mouth and say, I believe in miracles. Only if you do. I believe in miracles. And if you know that you are a miracle, go ahead and say, I am a miracle. I don't know what you have been through, but you know, you can open up your mouth and declare, I am a miracle. And just like God performed miracles in the Bibles, he's performed a miracle in my life. So I can say, that I am indeed a miracle. And I'm grateful for, for God for allowing us this opportunity to be here to share the goodness of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm here to share the goodness of Jesus Christ. Last month, we had a wonderful series of The Vision Shall Prevail. And we had some awesome speakers, our partners, our champions was a part of this endeavor. And it was phenomenal. And I believe that God will continue to take us higher and higher and higher. And I'm waiting for you to invite somebody to this call, just in case you didn't know, each week. And so the Lord says anything different. We are fasting three days a week. That is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We would love for you to join us as we seek the Father in obedience to his will. He told us to start fasting. He said to go on a series of fasting and praying. So every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we only have one meal and we drink water throughout the day. And when I tell you our lives have been changed for the better, Amen. Our lives have been changed for the better. We are learning how to discipline ourselves in the things of God. And I tell you that some things only come by fasting and praying. And we've been having reports of breakthrough. We've been having reports of spirits lifted. We've been having reports of doors being opened. I didn't even tell you. God opened up a door for me so quick. I put in the application one day. I got the results the next day. God is at work and he's doing a quick work hallelujah this month hallelujah this month of october speaks of miracles you hear me this month of october speaks of a new beginning this month of october releases the peace of god this month of october releases new areas of favor this month of october releases double acceleration
nation. This month of October releases victory. Anybody with me tonight? I'm excited about the month of October. I don't know about you, but there were some days I said, Lord, will I make it to the month of October? But because I'm healing, Zen, because I've made it, I have a right to give God glory. I have a right to give him honor. And I am magnifying the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Come on, somebody. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Magnify the Lord with me. Let us, hallelujah, exalt his name together, Tisa. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Begin to open up your mouth and just begin to bless the name of the Lord. Come on and bless him. Bless him. Come on and bless him. Flow, flow. Open up your mouth. Come on, 912. Open up your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. God bless you, Dr. Tracy. Open up your mouth and give God some glory because we made it to October. We made it, hallelujah, to the month of miracles. We made it to the month, hallelujah, that God says this is a time of new beginning for us. And I believe God that miracles will be manifested hallelujah thank you very much god today it's a miracle that we're still here it's a miracle that we're still in our right mind it's a miracle that we can even understand oh god that we are blessed above measure even in the midst of crisis even in the midst of turmoil in the midst of torment we are still abundantly blessed and we give god glory and honor and praise do i have anybody that's excited that they made it to october Woo, god two more months until the end of the year and god has graced us to be here somebody say the month of miracles and i believe god it's the month of miracles and i believe god go ahead and claim your miracle go ahead and begin to claim your miracle for this month i'm claiming my miracle i'm claiming my miracle hallelujah you because you're here tonight you get a chance to hear never got i've been so busy in ministry and appointments and praying and getting uh, information that i never got a chance to to actually post my victory report but i've been warning for this has been a a, a prayer for many years now so i'm going to give you my first miracle okay <laughs> my first miracle i put in the, i've been wanting for the longest to be able to present my book prayer the lifestyle in the prison i've been wanting to be able to go in the prisons and share and give them the challenge and have them take the challenge I didn't know how God was going to do it. I know I've been praying for a long time, Tanya. I've been praying that God would open up the door. And sure enough, God gave me favor with one of my students who said, I actually work for a facility and I enjoyed your book so much that I was going to tell them that they should go ahead and buy your book. And I said, oh my goodness, I always wanted to have my book in the prison. I've always wanted to say, oh yeah, you can even come in and teach it yourself. I was like, oh my God. So I started, when I tell you, I feel the application was submitted one day, the next day, the next day it was approved. I will be, come on here. I am so excited about the open door. Oh, God said open doors. He said new doors. Didn't he say it? He said new doors and God opened up a new door for me to be able to teach prayer in the prison. Come on, somebody and get excited with me. That's my first miracle. What? That's my first miracle. And I am rejoicing that God did this thing. So I am grateful to God. I'm grateful to God. And just like he did it for me, he can do it for you. It's been a long time coming. My book is over six years. It's like six years now that I, I um, wrote the book of of prayer, the lifestyle, the 30 day challenge to a better relationship with Christ. And I've been wanting that for a long time, but God manifested that miracle. And I wanted to give God glory, the honor and praise for that. I thank you all for being here on the line tonight. And those of you that's coming in later, just want you to know that you're welcome here at Praying Empowerment Global Ministries. It's so good to see so many of you with us tonight. God bless you, Belton, for joining us and his lady D. We got 914 on the line. Thank you for being here. 919. Thank you for being here. 6744. God bless you. We give God glory, honor, and praise for your presence. We don't take your presence for granted. And this, just in case you didn't know, go ahead and touch, touch your neighbor. <laughs> go ahead and touch your neighbor and tell them this is the month of miracles. Yes? 
this is the month of just in case you didn't know this is the month of miracles we are deeming the month of october the month of miracles how many you know that god says we can declare a thing and it shall be established what i'm establishing that this is the month of miracles for me this is the month of miracles for you i need you to open up your mouth and declare. this is the month of miracles for me okay our theme scripture is deuteronomy 10 21 the new living translation that reads he alone is your god the only one who is worthy of your praise the one who has done these mighty miracles that you have seen with your own eyes and the part that we'll be dealing with tonight is the b clause the one who has done these mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Hasn't he done a mighty miracle in your life? Have you ever had a situation that happened in your life and you said, I know only God did this thing for me? Huh? Only God did that's a miracle. Only God could have done this for me. Let me tell you the scientific, the scientific definition of a miracle is a miracle is a supernatural event that seems inexplicable it by nature by natural or scientific laws the illusions typically say that with divine providence god regularly works through nature yet as a creator is free to work without above or against it as well but the biblical definition of miracle means extraordinary and astonishing happening that is attributed to the presence and action of an ultimate or divine power. Somebody say divine power. Oh, God. And that ultimate power is our true and living God. I want to say that once again. The biblical definition of a miracle is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is attributed to the presence and action of an ultimate or divine power <sighs> and i would say that ultimate power is our true and living god and just in case you didn't know <laughs> i am the evidence of god's divine power <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Anybody a witness here? Can you open up your mouth and say, I am the evidence, hallelujah, of God's divine power working in my life. After all of the hell I've been through, after all of the trauma that I've been through, after all of the deaths that I have experienced, after all of the loss, after all of the trauma, I'm telling you that God is still at work and his miracle power, I'm going to say, I am the evidence of God's divine Evelyn intercessor Evelyn I think you can say I think you can you can be a witness and say yeah 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 after being free of COVID you can say yeah yeah I am the evidence hallelujah of God's divine power I believe Latanya you got something to say huh oh yeah Tanisha you got something to say oh my bell I believe you got a I believe you can say I am the evidence huh? who else can say I am the evidence of God's handiwork in my life of his divine power working in me hallelujah I'm excited about God's divine power working in me somebody say and the miracle power of God is working in me right now God's miracle power is working in me right now I believe and I declare and decree that the divine power of God is working in your life Kelly it's working in your life Tisa it's working in your the, God's divine power is working in your life and just in case you didn't know this is the beginning this is the beginning of a brand new month and every time God gives us a new month it's a celebration every time he gives us a new day okay but I'm telling you right now tonight because we are in a new month and this month is deemed the month of miracles I'm here to celebrate and what I'm here to do tonight is I'm here to lay the foundation for this month of miracles somebody say there's power in prayer there is power in prayer. and I believe God that he's moving on your behalf I believe 
believe God that God is going to create. He's going to manifest a miracle of somebody's soul being saved. I believe God that in this month of October that somebody's going to be healed of cancer. I believe in this month of miracles. I believe that somebody is going to be healed of COVID-19. I believe by the power of God that somebody is going to be delivered of massive depression. I believe God that somebody's marriage that wants to be restored shall be restored. Gloria, do you hear me? I believe God that God is working in somebody's mindset and somebody's mindset is going to be healed. There's going to be a miracle. You hear what I'm saying, Darlene Stokes? That God is going to perform a miracle in your life. I just need you to believe God. Mary, you already know. You already know the healing power of God. Somebody open up your mouth and scream, I am the evidence. I am the evidence of God's miracle working power in me. And I give him all the glory and I give him all the honor. I'm here tonight to lay the foundation. I'm here to lay the foundation for this whole month. I believe, God, that when we take the time out to declare and decree and to set before us the, and send angels on assignment, hallelujah, come on, somebody. We're going to send angels on assignment, hallelujah, to, mm, to prepare the way for this month to be a month of miracles. We are going to prepare the way. We're going to make declarations. We're going to speak. You're going to pray along with me. And we're going to see the manifestation together. We're going to be able to rejoice together about what God has done in our life. We are speaking by the power of the name of Jesus, that the miracle of wisdom is going to be manifested. If that's you, just say, okay, God, I thank you for releasing the miracle of wisdom on my behalf. God, I thank you. Huh? Oh, God, I thank you for releasing the miracle of your favor on my life. God, I thank you for releasing the miracle of having a blessed life. Hallelujah. I believe God that he's about to do something in our days that we don't even, we can't even fail. He's going to do a Ephesians 3.20 blessings on us for this month of October. I believe God. Did you not share this call with somebody? I believe they need to hear. I believe they need to be in the building. I believe they need to hear that there are the evidence of a miracle working God that regardless of what the doctors say, I am still a miracle. Can somebody open up their mouth and say, I don't care what the doctors say. I'm still a miracle. God's healing power is working in me right now. You better go ahead and say it, Tanisha. God's healing power is working in me right now. I accept her and I receive and I'm laying hands on you right now, Tanisha, and I'm saying, woman of God, be healed. I'm saying, woman of God, be healed by the power of the name of Jesus. Woman of God, be healed. Koshaya, Denise, be healed. Koshana, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, one four, be healed. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, Doctor Tracy. Be healed by the power of the name of Jesus. We believe God. With Hallelujah, Jesus. We are in the middle of a pandemic, but we believe God that He's bringing deliverance and He's manifesting miracles. I need you to open up your mouth and declare it that God is manifesting miracles in my life. He's manifesting miracles on my job. He's manifesting miracles in my new business. He's manifesting miracles come on in my family. He's manifesting miracles. Hallelujah. Because I serve the God of miracles. Hallelujah. Jesus. You got to see it. You got to see yourself healed. You got to see yourself delivered. You got to see yourself made whole. This is the month of miracles and I need to declare it. This is my month, hallelujah, of miracles. I am a miracle, but I believe God to do something more. Kelly, I believe God that if you would just open up your mouth and just start to declare it, that God's going to do something extraordinary in your life. Mm-hmm. I believe God now by the power of the name of Jesus that the gifts in your life is going to bring you prosperity. Hallelujah. Anybody need the miracle of prosperity over your life? Anybody need the miracle, hallelujah, of abundance being released over your life? Anybody need the miracle of peace over your life? Any, come on, Chantel. Anybody need the miracle? The miracle of God's peace. The miracle of God's restoration. The miracle. Yes, yes, yes. That extraordinary and astonishing happening in your life. Come on. Jesus. 
We expect it. We send angels on assignment now. We send angels on assignment. We send angels on assignment. Tonight is a different kind of night. We're laying the foundation, Corey. We're laying the foundation of God. In this month of October, we're laying the foundation and we're claiming our miracles for the month. This is, this is what we're doing, that everybody, I, I'm praying now. So as you agree with me, just go ahead and repeat after me. If you agree with what I'm saying, I need you to help me pray. And wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just open up your mouth and come in agreement because two are better than one. Come on. And when we come in unity, things begin to happen. Yes. So if we come in agreement that God is releasing miracles in our household, I believe God that miracles are going to be released in our household. If we come in agreement tonight, somebody, and we come in agreement tonight that everybody that comes on this line or goes live here at Praying and Pound the Global Ministries for the rest of the month, that God is releasing angels, hallelujah, healing angels, divine angels power angels being released on our behalf to work in us everything that needs to be done health and healing will be released come on somebody prosperity will be released hallelujah the gifts of the holy spirit shall be released hallelujah i'm accepting my miracle in the name of jesus all the gifts of the holy spirit dwells within me and has activated it in me and i believe god that the miracle of god's holy spirit in me shall begin to rise up in me Hallelujah. I thank God. I function in the gift of faith. That is my miracle. Some of you have been doubting and you've been living in fear. So go ahead and open up your mouth. My miracles that I'm going to be functioning in the gift of faith. I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. I'm not going to be moved by what I see, but I'm going to be moved by what the word of God says about me, about my family, about my situation, about my finances, about my health. I'm going to believe God. And God, I thank you that you're really releasing angels and you're releasing angels over our communities come on somebody help me pray you're releasing angels releasing miracles over the school system come on where your children are now going back to school god i believe you for miracles in the schoolhouse i believe you for miracles in the hospitals I believe you for miracles in the nursing homes. I, I believe you for miracles. Come on, somebody, in my community. Yes, in my church family. I believe you for miracles for my cousins and my uncles and my distant cousins. I believe you for miracles in the name of Jesus. In my relationships with my children, I believe miracles. Hallelujah. For all of the barren women that desire a child, I believe God for miracles. I believe God to touch your womb right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, and some of you are bearing in the spirit. We are Mando Shakaya, and I touch your womb right now, and I say, birth it out now. Birth it out. Come on. Let October be the month that you start birthing in the spirit realm. Let October be the month that you yield and you say yes to the will of God and not operate in the spirit of fear. Not another day. We release the angels. Angels that watchings over us. We release those angels in our lives, in our community, in our government. We need miracles. Come on, somebody. Help me stand in the gap for our government. We need government. Government direction and wisdom. Organization and unity. We need a movement of God in our government. And God, we thank you for the miracle. Come on, somebody. Come on and help me pray for our government help me pray for the laws and the rules that they are going that they're currently going under and we believe god for favor to be released for our governmental system in the name of Jesus, we believe God for miracles with all diseases. All I need you wherever you are. Just begin to call those diseases out of the atmosphere. Say miracle God over cancer patients. Miracle God over sugar diabetes. Miracle God. Come on, come on, come on. Wherever you are, whether you're listening to this message now or you're listening to a YouTube some other time. I don't care if it's a year later. Open up your mouth now. I don't care if it's a month later. Open up your mouth now and declare by the power of the name miracle working god be manifested now miracle working god be manifested in my handicapped child miracle working god be manifested hallelujah in my body i know the doctor said
that I'll never walk again. But God, miracle working, God, I believe you to work in my back. Miracle working, God, I believe you to work in this hips of mine. I know I got a hip replacement, but God, I'm believing you to be able to walk again. I believe you that I'm coming out of this wheelchair. I believe, God, that in this month of miracles, that God is going to open up the blind and eye. I believe, God, that in this month of miracles, yeah, 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 that God is going to move like never before. I believe, God, in the month of miracles, he's releasing you from being in bondage in your mindset. I believe, God, I believe, God, I believe, God, right now, that he's doing something to transform your way of thinking about the fact that you are capable and worthy of receiving God's miracle. Anybody that need a miracle in your mind, just go ahead and put your hands on your head and say, God, I receive my miracle in my mind. My mindset sometimes is kind of just contrary to your will and to your word. And God, I thank you for my mind aligning with your will. Come on, somebody. I thank you for aligning my mind with your will. Jesus, hallelujah, come on, Sukoshaya. Somebody may need healing in their body, but somebody need healing in their mindset. Somebody need healing. Jesus, in the area of forgiveness. Somebody needs a healing and activating the gifts of God in you. Somebody needs a miracle. Somebody needs a miracle. I'm telling you, this is a month of miracles. Somebody say miracles. Put it in the atmosphere. A month of miracles. A month of miracles. A month of miracles. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Open up your mouth wherever you are. Come on, open up your This is my month of miracles. This is my month of breakthrough. This is my month of manifestation. This is, I have a miracle mindset. Come on, somebody. Open up your mouth. Come on, Kelly. I can't hear you. Oh, come on. Open up. This is my month of miracle. Come on, Mom Bell. I can't hear you all the way in Greensboro. I need you to open up your mouth and believe God for a miracle. Jesus. God, today he's moving. He's frying up cancer cells. Come on, somebody. You got to believe in him. I believe in God to heal diseases that they have not been able to figure out what exactly is this. You know those diseases that you can't even pronounce? I believe in God to heal that in the name of Jesus. I speak extraordinary. Yes. This is what a biblical miracle definition means. It means extraordinary and astonishing happenings. I declare and decree that it shall be so in this month of October. Astonishing and extraordinary happenings in the name of, come on, somebody open up your mouth. I declare and decree that I shall receive extraordinary and astonishing happenings in this month of miracles in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe God. I believe God, as we are laying the foundation that no weapon that's been formed against us will prosper. We're going to operate in the spirit of obedience and we are going to receive the miracles that God has ordained for our lives. Guzman, God is doing it. God is doing it right now. He's doing it in your mindset. He's doing it in your body. He's doing it in your family. He's doing it. He's doing it for you. 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 He's doing it for every one of you under the sound of my voice. Tonight, October the 4th, 2021 is currently 828. Did you hear what God said? This is the month of miracles. I don't care what you have heard from the doctor today. Hear me. I don't care what you have heard. Mm, I don't care the bad news you just received. I don't care if somebody just died. I just heard, just got another call today. Asking me to come and see someone who's about to transition. In the midst of all of that, I am still declaring that this is the month of miracles. And regardless of what happens in this month of miracles, I need you to keep on confessing out of your month out of your mouth that this is the month of miracles. You hear what I say? Because when you make a declaration, you know the enemy will try to come and denounce everything that you have been believing God for. Everything. 
So it makes you seem like you crazy and they don't make no sense. Well, you said God was going to do this, but this is happening and that is happening. Yeah, I'm still declaring that this is the month of miracles for me. Yes. And I am unstoppable. Yes. I'm unmovable in my faith. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. Miracles and signs and wonders not only follow PGM, but you know what? What? It follows me personally. Come on. You better open up your mouth. And speak this into your uh, into your atmosphere and believe that your words have power. Your words have power, Kelly. Say it. Your words have power, Gloria. Go ahead and say it. I'm going to be blessed with rest. Some of you have not been able to get a good night's rest. The miracle of rest. See, some of you, I'm, when I tell you, I, I, I believe God for all things, Corey. It's not just in one category. It's in so many things. Like somebody say the men are coming. That's our miracle. Because Corey's on the line tonight. And he's representing all the men that's coming by the power of the name of Jesus. I believe God. Somebody open up your mouth and say the the restored whole men of God are coming. Um, the saved anointed men of God are coming. We got to call them that's coming in. We, we don't want to just say men are coming. We're going to say the saved sanctified filled with the Holy Ghost. Huh? Fire baptized men of God are coming. Huh? Can we say that? Can we say the businessmen are coming? Yes. Our protectors are coming. Yes. Can we say that? Yes. More lawyers are coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Jesus. Men of God, true men of God that's representing the kingdom are coming our way. In this month of miracles, we believe God. Bills will be paid. Oh, God. In this month of miracles, debts will be canceled. In this month of miracles, come on. Let me just give you a miracle. Back in the day when I was going through my cancer bout, I had a bill of $150,000, $150,000. I was married at the time. Got the bill in the mail that said that my bill was $150,000. I at the time I was married and I said to my husband, I said, honey, what are we going to do about this bill? He said, well, that's not my concern. That's your bill. You decided to go to the best hospital there was in the country for cancer. And this is what you get. Well, you could have stayed here in New York and got it for less than that. But you wanted to go out there to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and go to the Cancer Treatment Center of America. So that's on you. And so I went to the Lord and I said, God, I need your help. I said, no, my prayer was give me something that I could afford. That's what I said. $150,000 was too much for me back then. Back then, it to the, I don't even know what the surgeries are costing now. But back in his lady D, back then, the, the procedure that I had was over $750,000. And that was back down in 2010. Okay. And majority of that was taken um that whole bill was taken by my, by the company that I was working for. But what was left of mine that I had to pay was $150,000. I was a receptionist, y'all. I didn't have that money. But I said to God, give me something that I can afford. So I get a call from the Cancer Treatment Center of America. And she says, well, I just wanted to, I call, no, excuse me. I called them and I said, because I got something in the mail. And it was different than what they told me. And I said, I just wanted to call to find out exactly what is it that I owe because I was told one thing and now I'm receiving something in the mail that's saying that I, I owe something else. So please, somebody make it clear. She says, hold on one second. I'll be glad to help you. She goes online and she sees all of these credits on my account. And she says, I don't know what's going on here, but I see all of these credits on your account. I've never seen this before. All of these credits. It looks like you only owe us $1,500. Come on, I don't hear y'all screaming loud enough. When I tell you God took that bill for $150,000 down to something I could afford. It was $1,500. Let me just tell you that when you open up your mouth and you believe God for the miraculous, that God will show up for you. I believe God, if I had enough faith, I said, God, could you just wipe this bill right on out for me? But what I said was, give me something that I could afford. And back then, $1,500 versus $150,000 was something I could afford. But let me just tell you, God worked it out for me. And that indeed was a miracle for me. And I believe God. God has no respect of persons. Gloria. He has no respect of persons. Do you hear what I'm saying, Belton? 
not, not at all. No respect of persons to keep. He has respect of faith, flow, flow. So according to your faith, be it unto you. According to your faith, be it unto you, Tisa. So whatever you believe in God for, if you believe that God can do it, he will do it for you. So what I want you to do is I want you to get it in your mind. This month, we're planting the seed. We're planting a seed. I'm not asking you for no money. Okay, so I'm just saying seed tonight. I'm not asking you for no money. I'm saying seed. You're putting the seed out there with your words. You hear what I'm saying? This is what I'm declaring for the month of October. This month of miracles. I believe you for this. And I need you to declare it. Write it down. Put it in front of your face. Make that declaration every single day of this month. And believe God for his manifest, manifest, manifestation power. Yeah, I got it out. I said it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I believe God. Somebody open up your mouth and say, I believe God. That's all I have for you tonight. But I believe God that we have declared. I believe God that we have decreed. And I believe that that is it. We led the foundation. Miracles, I'm telling you, families will be restored. We laid the foundation that no weapon formed against this whole series of the month of miracles shall be stopped. Do you hear what I'm saying? Lives will be changed from the miracles, from the testimonies. Yes. From everything that will be shared. Lives will be the seed, the seed, the seeds, the seeds will be sown of words. Okay. Financial seeds will be given during the course of the month that will multiply and that every need that we have will be supplied here at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. I believe God. Somebody open up your mouth and say, I believe God. I believe God that he's doing it right now in the name of Jesus. I believe God. And so tonight, I don't feel led to even ask for an offering. Okay. I ain't going to even ask you to put a seed on it. That's totally up to you, but I'm not going to request it. Okay. I want you to sow a seed with your words out of your mouth and to be intentional about speaking life into this month. You hear what I say? You're going to speak life into this month and you will not speak anything negative against what you are speaking. Because let me tell you, sometimes when things don't manifest, you're going to bless, you're going to, you're going to uh, accuse the pastor. You're going to accuse that person who gave you that word. You're going to accuse God for not coming through. But my brother, my sister, what done happened was you decided to sabotage the words that you spoke. Now, don't allow Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, or even the further days ahead in this month to be sabotaged by your words. You hear what I'm saying? We're speaking life tonight. We spoke healing in the body, healing in the mind, and our finances, our jobs, our community, our government. Come on. Our family, our marriages, all over. We, we done made that declaration, right? We say we're believing God and we're receiving it. Now, don't you speak any negativity on any of what you believe in God for. Amen. And stay in expectation. Somebody say, I will stay in expectation of what I believe God to do. I need you to stay with your next, like you looking out the window for somebody. Uh-huh. Like any day now, it's going to show up. I need you, Corey. You hear what I'm saying? I need you to have your neck stuck out. Like, I know God's going to do this for me. Yeah, I need you to have great expectation with what God is going to perform. In your, do you hear me, Lynzette? I need you to have your neck stuck out like it's going to come any day now. I need you to have great anticipation of what... Do you hear what I say? Great anticipation, my bell, of what you believe God to do. I'm talking about that extraordinary, astonishing happening in your life. And sometimes all you need is a word to remind you, Kelly. Sometimes all you need, Mother Mary, is a word to remind you of what the word of God says. Amen. And start taking on hope. Start taking on strength and believing that God can do it for you. I have a special invitation that's coming by, I believe, our intercessor. Evelyn Bell, she's going to come on the line tonight and she's going to share that special invitation. I'm going to come back. We're going to dismiss and I'm going to tell you that there's going to be miracles, signs and wonders manifested this month. We will have victory reports of what God has done. Hear the word of the Lord. Intercessor Bell. Yes. Amen. For those of you that are on the line today that do not have a personal relationship with Christ, we would like to extend a life transforming invitation to begin a relationship with Christ today. Romans 10, 9 through 10 says, if you openly declare that Jesus is Lord 
and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by openly declaring your faith that you are saved. So I invite you to accept the Lord's invitation to be a part of his family by repeating this simple prayer. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I ask you to forgive me, save me, live in me. I believe that you died and you rose again just for me. I now accept you in my heart as my personal savior and the Lord of my life. Satan, you are no longer my Lord. In Jesus' name, I am saved. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. Pastor Mitchell always encourage you to connect with a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church so you can grow in your new relationship with Christ. You can also become an I champion with PEGM, where Pastor Mitchell will be your covering pastor. You can do this by going to www.pegm.org. If you have accepted this invitation, please let us know. We would love to celebrate with you. Amen. I'm now passing it back to Pastor Mitchell. Amen, 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 and amen. Thank you so much, Intercessor. I believe that if you pray that prayer, that you are on the brink of something wonderful. And I would love to be your covering pastor. And sometimes, you know what, people don't want to go to church anymore for whatever reason. And sometimes it's the pandemic. I've heard of several people say, I don't feel comfortable in a church. I want to welcome you to come here, to be a partner, to be an impact partner, to be a champion here at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. I would love to be your covering pastor. If you do not have a covering, I'm telling you, these are the last days you need to be under somebody covering you in prayer. And here at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, we believe in the power of of prayer. Amen. We believe that God has heard us tonight. We believe that he's going to answer. We believe that he's showing up in a mighty way with miracles, signs, and wonders. I'm declaring as the visionary of this ministry that by the end of October, we will hear more manifestations of the miracle working power of God. Do you hear what I said? I'm saying it boldly. I'm saying it loud like I'm black and I'm proud. At the end of this month, I declare by the power of the name of Jesus and by his blood, that we will have reports of miracles, signs and wonders. In the name, I'm taking that bold step. I'm stepping out on the water. I'm making that directive. I'm making that declaration. You hear what I say, Deborah? I'm making that declaration. I need you to be bold and declare. I'm going to, before this month is out, I'm going to have my miracle. I need you to get bold like that, Denzel. I need you to get bold like that, Darlene, and just go ahead and confess it by the power of the name of Jesus and watch God show up in a huge way. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. I I see some numbers here on the line. I don't know who you are. I would love to know who you are. I would love to celebrate you and celebrate your presence here. I have 914-0502. Would you come on and let us know who you are? We would love to celebrate you. 914-0502. If you star six, star six your phone, that will unmute you. Star six your phone, that will unmute you. We would love to greet you tonight. Amen. Hi, everybody. Hi. This, this is Tiana Corey's wife. Hi, Kiana. Wait, well, listen, let me Hi. get my phone. Let me get my pom-poms, Kiana, one second, one second. Woo, Kiana is here, Woo! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Kiana, thank you so much for being here tonight. I believe that miracles are coming in your direction. I believe that you're on this line tonight for purpose. And I pray, Kiana, that it's not your last time. Amen? Definitely not. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Tiana. Thank you for that correction. Amen. God bless you. Anybody else here on the line for the first time, I would love to greet you as well. You know, I got my palm palms out. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Anybody else? I have a 646 
ending in 6330. There you go. There you go. Yes. Evelyn Johnson, and I'm a friend and real close to Tisha. Well, God bless you, Evelyn Johnson. I'm so glad to have you here. It's your first time on the line? Yes. Oh, Evelyn, one second. Let me get my palm palms out for you, sweetie. I'm so glad you're Please. here. Woo! <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, Evelyn. Did you have a good time tonight? Yes, I did. I enjoyed Amen. I Evelyn, I, I want you to be in great expectation for your miracle. Do you hear me, Evelyn? Yes. I want you to expect God to show up for you. No matter what you've been through, no matter what you've done, God loves you and he loves you unconditionally. And can I tell you this, Evelyn? There's absolutely nothing that you can do or have done in your life that will change God's mind about you. He loves you. He is madly in love with you. And he always will. There's absolutely nothing. You know how, Evelyn, you can do some things to some people and they'd be like, look, I don't want to talk to her no more. I'm done. God is not like that. I want you to know that you are madly loved by the Father and you are madly loved here at Praying Empowerment Global Ministries. Please don't make it your last time. We would love to have you in the building one more time. God bless you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Everybody have a blessed evening and be safe. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much, Evelyn, for that. Thank you. Thank is there you. Any Amen. Amen. Is there anybody else? We have, I got, I got Tiana. Anybody else? A lot of times people don't want to say anything. And if you don't want to say anything, you don't have to. I have a 919-6744. Would you like to say something? Would you like to come on the line? If you star six, your phone, we would love to welcome you. We would love to welcome you. 919-6744. Hello? If you're speaking, I can't hear you. I see that you unmuted your line, but I can't hear anything that you're saying if you are speaking. Check to see if you Hello? unmute. There you go. There you go. Okay. This is Tina Pickett. I'm not... Uh, first time or anything, I'm here quite often. Um, but you called my number, so I thought I would let you know who, who I am. And, of course, I always enjoy. And as you know, um, I believe in miracles. I am a miracle and will continue to um, seek God for miracles and expect miracles. So Amen. I have enjoyed tonight as well. Amen. I'm so very glad to have you here, my sister and friend. She indeed is a miracle, and I'm so glad to have you here. Welcome, 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 my dear sister. God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much, Corey. Because you represent the men, because you represent the men, would you like to come on and say something? Would you like to greet us tonight? Did you get anything out from tonight? I would love to just have you represent the men tonight. Are you in a place where you can speak? If you are speaking, I can't hear you. Have to press star six so I can. Hello? Yes, there you go. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, how you doing? Hi, <clears throat> Good. The word the word was great tonight. Um, I did get on a little late, but I still felt the energy and I felt the word and I felt God's presence in my house and I repeated everything you told me to repeat and I'm going to confide in that for the rest of this month and for the rest of the year, rest of my life. Hey man, thank you so much for joining us, Corey. I'm representing for the men. I appreciate you so much. I God appreciate you more. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you so much, everybody. Thank you everybody for coming on the line and for joining this time of month of miracles. I appreciate you, all of our partners, those of you who partner with us and you contribute every month. I can't thank you enough for your gifts. You are truly helping us uh, make a mark here in this community, in this ministry. And I want you to know that I appreciate you as pastor. I do not take your gifts for granted. Thank you so much for that, Tisa. Next month, we will not be on the line because it is a holiday. So we will not be meeting 
next week. And here at Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, we believe in family. And sometimes it's not until the holiday you really get a chance to spend with your family. So we like to encourage you to spend time with your family on the holidays. We can pray in our separate places. Amen. But we will not be gathering on the line next week, Monday. But join us the following Monday. We will be back. Thank you very much for letting me know that so I could remember to announce that. We will be on the line on on Facebook Live Wednesday morning at 6 a.m. on our Facebook page, Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries. If you haven't liked us, please go over there and do so so you can be notified when we go live. OK, we're going live 6 a.m. on Wednesday morning. But also we'll be fasting again Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And we're on this conference line at 530 a.m. I know for some of you like that's quite early to be on the conference line praying. Yes, hunty. Yes, honey. When you are in need of a miracle, when you are in need of in trans transformation in your life, when you need a healing in your life, you need a breakthrough. You will go through anything to get what you need from God. And here. At Prayer and Empowerment Global Ministries, we are thirsty. We are hungry for the more of God. You hear what I say? We are going after God like we have never gone after him before. And we are the evidence of God transforming a life because we have been obedient. So those of you that can join us, 5.30 a.m. Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, and Friday as we start our day of fasting in prayer. Okay? I believe this is all I have for tonight. I want you to know that I am excited about this month of miracles. Do me a favor, tell a friend, tell a family member, let's get the word out and let's believe God for miracles, signs and wonders. How about this elder? We are leaving early. When I tell you we are getting off the line before nine, this is a, this is a miracle. I don't think this has ever happened. <laughs> I don't think this has ever happened in our time of being on the line. This is indeed a miracle. <laughs> amen. 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 We have a four. Nine. Yes, this is our first um, ministry miracle, and we will accept it as our first ministry miracle for the month of October. Amen. 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 So everybody that's here, Kelly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if um, you're here for the first time, but I want to say thank you for joining us tonight, Kelly. What we do here at the end, we kind of unmute the phone to everybody and we give you an opportunity to say goodnight. So anybody's name that you hear me, that you heard me call, that you want to say goodnight to, go ahead. We family here at Praying Department Global Ministries. We're going to unmute the line and just everybody, just give everybody a shout and say goodnight, everybody. Such a blessing.